Now, I want to get this thing done right away. I'm going to get this thing done in about two minutes. Well, I'm over at that wrong bucket again. That's the air bucket. In case you want air in your brush, just go to that bucket. How's that girl from Chicago? She come with, uh, hey, how you doing? Hi, Louise. Good to see you. Thanks for coming by. Say hello to your daughter. I know you sent me an email, and I appreciate it very much. You can get us, you know, you can get, uh, get all of these artists, and they're all wonderful. All, all, the, all of the guys down here are just absolutely great. Tech, the, the, the people that operate the audio and video, they're just, uh, uh, they're just absolutely great. Will was with the, uh, he was with the NFL, you know, Will was. <coughs> he got injured, he was on the sidelines and got run into, and, you know, he had to come with us. He had to retire from NFL work. And so he, we got him. I put a little white in here just to kill, just to, I want to see what it would do. Okay? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And this is a great time to experiment. It's not a large piece of paper. It's just one of them. One of them, uh, one of those pieces that I can kind of fool with and, can you see that? Isn't that great? Oh, I just love it. I love doing this. I love. I just have the greatest fun doing this. It's so much fun, and it's great practice. You know, what you can do is <coughs> just do these things as a practice routine. And if they come out, good. If they don't, then get some acrylic and work over them. Wash them off, take a hose to them, put them in the washing machine, turn it on, bing, bing, and you've got to wash, the, to wash the, uh, the excess paint off and you're in business, okay? Just paint over it again when it dries, that's all. Okay, now I want to start getting to the finish point. So I'm going to start putting some, um, some, um, I'm going to do a little knife work. I'll do a little knife work for you. I'm going to take some, some uh, that original turquoise blue that I used. Put, let's see if we put some of that in. And uh, it's not light enough. I, I want to put some in there. Yeah, I like the texture of that. I like that. Isn't that fun? Who said you can't use knives? You know, you can't. Certainly you can. Look at that. Isn't that great? You know who taught me that? Joe DiGiulio. Yeah. Yeah, he taught me that when he was working overseas in France. Okay. Now, hang with me. Just stay with me a little bit. Just stay right with me. I want to wait till this dries just a little touch. And uh, I'm going to get down here and work. I'll probably take the smaller, let's take a little smaller brush. I want to get down here and work. I'm going to build up this creek. I'm going to use a deoxine purple. It's very strong. It's a, it's a strong color. And um, I don't want to, I don't want to get as, Now you can see the edges start to build up of this creek. This was um, just a little bit of water, not a lot of water. There we are. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Doesn't that look like a little creek just coming through there? We'll make that creek just a little bit of bigger right in here. This is called Will's Creek. This is Will's Creek up in Roger Williams Park on Rhode Island. And uh, 
was named after Will. And they call it Will's Creek. I got a little break there and a little break here. Maybe I'll just make that a little closer. Yeah, I like that. I like that, okay? All right, now just hang loose. Hang loose a minute. We're just gonna go crazy here. I'm gonna take that same dark purple, the, the dioxine purple. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna insert some here and bring these forward. Remember, dark, dark and hard lines come forward. Okay, dark lines and, and, and hard lines come forward. And so we've got a few of these that'll come out in front of it. See how we built that up and we've got a little bit of depth in there now. See the first wash we put on? There it is. Okay. Here we go. One last shot. One last shot, just a touch of water just to get this thing moving. Okay, and I like the way what this is doing. I like what all the water and the wet paint is doing. It's, it's kind of, <clears throat> kind of doing things that I, I'm glad it it it, it did, and uh, I'll do the same thing. Over here, let's put a little water to this edge, a little water to that edge, and who knows? Maybe we got the trunk of one of those trees. Came down here, huh? Yeah, it could be, could be. Let's bring it down a little further and there's a trunk of another tree there, huh? How's that? Oh, I'm loving what it's doing. Look at that, would you? I'm gonna use the, uh, this is the Sterling Edwards brush. This is a little blender that I use and I blend this stuff together. I push just this paint together. Isn't that beautiful? Look what that paint does when it gets together. Get a few edges, not too many. Bring that turquoise around. Oh, I love it, I love it already. I love it already. Yep, let's finish it off. We've, we've spent too much time on this. It needs to be exciting, it needs to be quick, it needs to be splashy, but yet the colors are what? Calm, calm and cool and cold and but yet you feel kind of, you, you feel like you want to be there. You know, you feel like you want to go there. Okay. And this is just a... I don't want to get too strong on the outside. I just want to stay at home, stay, keep everybody right around in here. And I'll put a little something in there. And again, we're going to go back to the, this little, this little Edwards blender. And I have some, some bigger brushes that I use that I blend with, but I'm using the right tool for the right spot. Let's put a little, okay, now, Let's just put a touch of warm in there. I'm gonna use a touch of, of yellow ochre light. Okay, I use yellow ochre light. Here we go. Okay. There we are. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. I might accept that. Um, let me just try one or two more things. I'm using the Pro Art brush, wonderful brush, synthetic. See, that gives it a little bit of texture, a little bit of interest, huh? Isn't that nice? Oh, I like that. Huh? That's exciting, isn't it? 
Okay. And it's going to spread because that water's wet. The, uh, the surface is wet. And down here, we've got a little trunk of that tree coming down there. And then maybe there's one coming here and one coming in here. You know, just make it work for you. Just a little bit. We don't have to have a lot of stuff. Okay. All right. One more thing and we're done. One more thing and we're all done. Okay. We'll put a, just a tree right in here. Just something to give us a little relief. Just a little bit of... And these could be, these could easily be sketches for, uh, for a bigger painting. I do that often. I fool around with stuff like this. Let's bring that up. Maybe there's some stuff in here. Uh, and then we're going to kill it. Okay, how's that? Okay, and that's what we call Wills Creek. Hope you liked it. Uh, do we have a mat? This one right here. No, that won't fit it. But anyway, you get the idea. And uh, I like it. It's quick. It's fun. It's easy. Uh, there isn't a lot of to do about it. Limited amount of colors, limited amount of equipment, brushes, etc. Just know where you're going. Don't get detailish. Don't get slaved over it. And if you need just a little accent here and there, you can always go back and put some in. That's what you can do later on. As you look, as you look this over, I take a little neutral and I put it back in there. Who knows what that is? I don't know what that is, and I don't care what it is. Just something. Okay? How's that? Well, I want to thank you for coming. Thanks for being around. I appreciate it. I hope to see you again next time. Please, please contact us at Jerry's Autorama. Uh, go to our website. Turn on the instructors. Go to instructors, and you'll see a maze of great instructors um, that can help you out. Okay? Thanks for coming, and I'll see you next trip. Thank you.